today we are uh, calling out stupid things blue bought blue check accounts says on Twitter and we start with Mark Thomas he made a claim January 12th that a volcano in Greece has put more CO2 in the atmosphere in 24 hours than humans have in an, our entire existence. This is bullshit. Complete bullshit. It's for the <laughs> first. Check the date. January 12th. You go Google it. Look for any volcanic eruptions around Greece. There hasn't been one. Uh, not the week before, not the week after. Now, let's give him some leeway and say, okay, maybe he means the Santorini volcano, who erupts frequently. But he doesn't say this in this tweet or anywhere in the following thread of tweets and answers where people call him out. So what does he... What does he mean? I don't know. But all I do know is what he says here, it's, it's a lie. And even if he meant the entire history of the Santorini, recorded history, it still doesn't come anywhere near those numbers. For instance, uh, you remember, was it uh, last year, the Tonga volcano, that massive eruptions, massive eruption that was seen, it was more or less the biggest eruption since Krakatoa in the 1800s. That enormous eruption still doesn't come near to human emissions every year. The difference is, and this is what uh, fakers like Mark Thomas relies on, is that when you see a volcanic eruptions and you see the claims that a gigantic ex uh, volcanic explosion can cause uh, the temperature to fall, well, that is because this ha is an enormous amount, not only CO2, but ash and other uh, chemicals and minerals that is spread in the atmosphere on an extremely short period of time. While human emissions is a slow burn, a constant slow burn that doesn't affect the temperature or climate on a short scale, but on a long scale. And the people he is talking to are what I call headline readers. They read a headline and then their mind is made up. That's it. And they don't get that headlines are just another way to say clickbait. And to get you interested in the rest of the story. The problem is with the audience of Mark Thomas is that they are not interested in the story. They read the headline and then they're done. But if you go into and check Mark Thomas accounts, this is the first time. And what is really, really sad is when you check how many, what is it, over 1400 quote tweets, and many of them are people who just well, he's a blue check account. He's of importance. And I am also a climate den uh, denier. I believe him. And not a shred of fact checking. And it's very, very easy. It's done in that uh, Twitter thread immediately. Where people call Mark Thomas out and says, show me your receipts. And he has none. He refuses to show his math, his sources, anything. He blocks people, calls their names, 
But he really can't block me. Not from here. Because I don't... It, I probably forget his name right after I uh, turn the video, uh, turn the camera off. But unfortunately, he has an audience who believes him. But who knows? Maybe he'll see this, one of you, share this in his Twitter, Twitter feed. And maybe he will produce a shred of evidence. But I doubt it. Because what he's saying here is a lie. And I claim he knows it's a lie. That's today's story. And uh, you all have a nice day. And I'll talk to you later.